gotten this far in this thing tonight, I'm saying if you've gotten this far in your life so far, God has a definite work and purpose for you. You have to really realize that God has definite plans for you. That He knows you by name. He knows where you live. He knows every little detail about you. He can change things at any given time. If they called out, they were doing uh, wrong, and His anger was hot against them, you know what? God's love can be showered towards you. You can have favor with God and man. You can come to that place where you know the blessing is upon you. You're working and moving and being activated in the gifts and the calling that God has already called you in because the gifts and calling are without repentance. You didn't even have to repent to get that. That's free. Salvation is a free gift. You receive that. But then after that, you have responsibility. And you have to come to that place where you know that this is a responsibility that you have because there are people waiting. If you can just understand in your heart and let it really sink in, there's people waiting out there for the voice of God to use your voice. It is a voice of God. It's a resounding sound that nobody else can make. Just like birds. All birds are not the same. And their sounds are uniquely different. When they sing a song, they're praising God. But when you use your voice and you use the Word of God, God is looking for His voice to be spoken in this earth. You can be reading the Word of God, but you know what? Sometimes if you say it out loud, He's hearing His own words. He's, he's looking down there like, oh, there's my word. And you know what? It's not going to return to them void. It's not going to return to me void because now we're in unison. <laughs> It's the voice of God ministering right out your mouth. And God can use you so you can't set yourself back on a back burner because now it's time for God to bring you to the forefront. And when he brings you up to the forefront, he'll set a platform for his own self. Because he needed a deliverer and he sent Moses, but he sent his own self. He, he's his own person. He's his own power. And that power can reside in you. It can rest on you. But you know what? When he indwells you, there's not anything that you can't do in God. It's not about what I think about it. It's what I know. And it's a confidence that only he can give you. It's a shalom of God. It's a Jehovah shalom. Just like if you have time, read in chapter 6. Gideon got the Jehovah shalom. And he understood at that time, this is God. And this is the peace of God. And he can do what? He is ordained to do. You are preordained right now to walk in the footsteps of God because He's already walked before you and prepared the way. He sent people before you. He sent our ancestors this way. They came this way to this land and they took over this land and they built this land up. And God said it's our land. And it's Jesus is going to be ruling and reigning over this place. And if the Word of God said it, it's going to be so. So you might as well get in the group of people where God is going to use, process, test. You're going to be tested now. And sometimes those tests mean you're stretched out of measure. But I can guarantee you that little bit of faith, that mustard seed faith that you have already resident in you, it'll work for you. You'll believe God at the right moment. You think you're going to be taken out. It's the last second. I'm going to fall out. I don't know what else I'm going to do. No, that last second, your faith will say, you know what? God's going to bring me through. Because you know what? If he brought you through all the garbage you've already gone through, don't you know right now he's going to bring you through this one also? And it's to the glory of God. That's why we can't wait to praise him. You can tell somebody's been through some stuff by the praise, by the thanksgiving, by the worship, by their solemn worship that you know that you know that it's God that has done this thing. And then he just wraps himself around you. And it's an enclosure. Nobody can't get it in and you sure ain't coming out. Because that's where you want to be. And it's not just a, a little tap in the church, and that's how I got that, and then when I leave, it's gone. No, I can guarantee you. He sleeps at you, he wakes you up, and he speaks to you. At what time you need to be spoken to, he'll speak to you. And what time you want to speak to him, you can speak to him. Because it's just automatic. It's automatic. It's a clear course. It's a getting an understanding. Uh, what about this? What about that? No. God, what do you say about it? What do you want me to do? And you know what? I'm going to resign my facts and the agendas, and what I feel, what I think, and I'm going to let that stuff die. And in this fast, if you'll fast with us, God will do a miraculous work in you. He will heal you overnight. He can touch you You're in your sleep, because you know why? He's cutting everything short in righteousness. You could be going to sleep tonight and say, God, I got this about me, I got that about me, I need this done, you know, and furthermore, my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, you know what? He can be your mother, father, brother, and sister. He can be <coughs> everything you need to be. 
Just move those people out of the way. They're not putting demands on you. The only one you need to fear is God. And that's not a fear like a willy-nilly thing. That's a God, I need you. That reverential fear that it's all about you. It's never going to be about nobody else. And show me how to do this thing. And I will do it. I, I vow today to do it. You vow a vow. And you know what? He'll prepare you. He'll get you statured and postured in that thing that he wants for you to do. He'll start putting you in the training program. And I guarantee you, he keeps cutting that thing short and rushing us. It's like an overnight thing. Wow, that was in me yesterday. You know what? It's not in there today. And I'm not going to think about that because I was talking to some woman today. She's like, you know, I went here and I thought I was going to do this with my family and I felt so good about it. You know what? I have to come back feeling raunchy. I said, you know what? Because you didn't ask God first. You got to ask Him first. What does He want me to do? Because you know, there's joy unspeakable and full of glory in those things what God wants you to do. You have the joy because the strength of the Lord is the joy. And there's so much joy that wells up in you that you don't understand. This was a God thing. It was a God thing. You already knew it was a God thing. But you put back those things, even when they're friends and family. You do it and go, God, what have you do? Because if somebody's waiting for a word from the Lord, and it has to be in a setting where they're, they can grasp those things. Some people have to be fed with milk, but you know what? We enjoy eating steak. We're eating the steak of the word, the meat of the word. And the meat is, the meat, as Jesus said, is to do the will of my Father. <laughs> that is the meat. You're eating real meat then. You can fast for a while. You'll find out you've got some supernatural strength coming up in you. You'll be going like, man, I, 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 my belly was growing, but you know what? Man, this is so rich. And next thing you know, he'll say, go talk to them. What? Talk to them. I'm going to say, next thing, it's welling up inside you. That river of living water starts bursting forth. And they start receiving exactly what the Lord had for you to speak. And it was right there before. You know what? A lot of times, he'll give you the review the day before. You'll be getting a review. He'll wake you up at like 3 o'clock. You're like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and he's talking, he's talking, he's talking. It's like, your brain can't even get it. But you know what? It dropped in your heart. And you know what? The next day you'll be speaking exactly with part of the stuff that you thought you heard, but you'll be speaking when he actually gave you to speak. It is a no-brainer. Just get the brain out of the way. You know, get our senses out of the way. Oh, I'm cool, I can do that. Oh, I'm so hot, I can't do that. Oh, I'm so tired. You know, I come in here so tired, I'm like, there is no way that I'm going to be able to dance not one note, not nothing. That's what my brain was saying, but you know what I said? Lord, I'm going to thank you. I'm going to thank you to the best of my ability, and then when my ability can't take it, you give me supernatural strength because I want to praise you for everything you're doing. And even for the stuff that I don't even see yet. It's stuff for people all around us. I'll praise them for whatever you're going through. I, you know, because I, I know you're coming out with a victory. He promises us the victory. <laughs> We're at the end of the book and we always hear that phrase and that slogan. But you know what? It's true. We're in the victory right now. This is the end. <laughs> I mean, this is the greatest time that could ever be. And I'm getting happier every day. I'm feeling better every day. And I thought I was feeling good. I mean, but I'm feeling better. <laughs> really. I'm not doing without. Nobody's doing without now. God has given you everything you need plus more. And then out of abundance, you're having more to give out. More and more. I'm like, what's this all about? What, what, what do you give me this thing for? I want, <laughs> no, this is not for you. Okay, well, just set it back and then I'll show you. Then that's what you do. It's, it's given out. It's now we're, we're in acts. We're given out. You know, we have the excess, and God has given us the increase, and we're continually given out because he has a working purpose. And you do that little bit, then he's going to increase you there. You do that little bit, he'll increase you even more. And everybody wants to be increased. Well, we don't, we don't realize that we're actually the blessing being poured out because he gets to use our hands, our feet, our mind, our will, emotion, our speech. 